That was one hell of an entrance, Joker. They're all riled up. Just keep at it. Go ham until you've drawn every last bit of attention. Everyone else, proceed as planned. Joker's got the diversion covered, so now's your time to shout. Catch your mind. This lights to us. And next on the agenda is the series of incidents involving unusual behavior in public. Hmm. First, we have the Vice Minister of Finance. As you're all aware, he had some sort of episode during a diet session Q&A and abruptly confessed to document tampering. Hmm. Soon after that, three Sapporo Central Councilmen confessed to bribery and publicly resigned. Next, the well-known author Mr. S. He held a press conference and announced he was retiring from writing, returning his book's awards, and deeming his body of work garbage. Then, a newscaster suddenly got down on one knee, confessed his love for his co-anchor on live TV, proposed to her, and got shot down. Lastly, the Director General of Criminal Affairs unexpectedly stripped off his clothing and ran around HQ until successfully detained. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Something amusing to you, Inspector Hasegawa? Uh, <laughs> no. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the vast majority of these cases have been interpreted as nothing more than bizarre outbursts. But, time and again, every instance involves a sudden change in personality. Furthermore, none of the individuals involved had any known psychological issues before their incidents. Therefore, we can surmise that these cases are the result of an external influence. Aren't these just coincidences? Are you really implying someone out there is using mind control? The cases I listed are only a small sample of this behavior, which appears to be happening across the entire nation. Hmm. Sounds like the Phantom Thieves to me. I want silence! Proceed with the report. Thank you, Commissioner Kabaragi. As you've realized, or at least as one of you realized, these cases are very reminiscent of last year's change of heart epidemic. The top brass have concluded that this is indeed the work of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> what? Hmm. What evidence is there? No one's even established a pattern. And we don't have any sort of motive. So far, doing it for kicks is the only thing that'd explain it. You will investigate each of these incidents yourselves, as quickly as possible. What I expect from each of you are two things. One, to assemble enough evidence for a successful case. Two, to do so as quickly as humanly possible. The higher-ups are hell-bent on closing this case. I do not know why, it does not matter. All that matters is producing results. Your suspect is the leader of the Phantom Thieves. Show me a thorough investigation of his entire life. <sighs> mm -hmm. So, the Phantom Thieves rise again. since we rode this to Yongin Jaya, huh? We're almost there. We haven't seen everyone in so long. I know it's stupid, but I'm getting kind of nervous. Yeah, when the Phantom Thieves come together, it's never anything less. Ooh, we finally made it. Or what? <laughs> we missed ya. It's been a while. Did you get taller? <laughs> Looks like you've been doing fine. <laughs> you too, Morgana. Mm. Meow. <laughs> it's gotten hot, huh? Yeah, we some nice coffee. Coffee. Hey, you guys hungry? Come on. You guys did all that for us? <laughs> Talk about a greeting. <laughs> what?
We hadn't seen you in so long, we knew we had to do something. We figured the best way to get you was to have Boss let us in early. Well, you're looking sharp. I hear you. Even though it's only been a couple of months, it feels like it's been a real long while. Yeah, I'm sure you all have plenty of catching up to do. But I've got to open up soon. Go ahead and take it upstairs. After all, it's your room. Have a good time. No problem. You can just pay me back working the counter. Deal. Now, thieves, to the hideout. <laughs> Great. Just when I was enjoying the peace and quiet. Three of my finals in one day, too. I'm really freaking out. I had so many makeup lectures in a row, I almost wasn't able to come over today. <laughs> then I win. I only flunked one final. You two are the same as always. Can't you at least take your classes a bit more seriously? Ooh, watch out. Miss President's gonna unleash her fist of justice. Jeez. Can you please forget about that already? So is college life all it's cracked up to be? Yes, it's going well. I've been using the time to take care of the core curriculum. I've been busy too, but it's also a lot of fun. For example, I've learned how to selectively breed certain vegetables. Oh! Yielded any results yet? Boy, <laughs> that got his interest. Wait, aren't you in the management program though? Yes, but students are allowed to take courses beyond their own programs if they feel so inclined. They even offer agricultural science courses. You can learn all sorts of neat things, like the correlation between soil nutrients and yield. Gah. That'd put me to sleep in a minute flat. And you, Fataba? How's school been for you? <laughs> Too easy. At this point, the only hellish parts are the commute and PE. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Praise me more. Keep it coming. Well, how about you then? You're the one we're most curious about. You doing okay back home? What a coinky ding! Me too. Well, I've been getting by too, but without you around, it's sort of like stuff is just kind of bleh. Of course, he's our leader. It's only natural. That's right. Once a phantom thief, always a phantom thief. Well, let's say we start coming up with summer vacation plans. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, right! We should figure that stuff out! You're fine to stay here through all of vacation, right? Well, how about a trip, guys? Come on, we've got a whole month to rage! Um, aren't you forgetting about your homework? Blah. Not only do you have homework, but you're third years now. You need to start thinking not just about graduation, but post-graduation. Yeah, no, stop! Don't bring that up. Not now, please. <laughs> Ryuji never changes. Back to the topic at hand. If I may suggest Kyoto, I'll find an abundance of inspiration if we tour each temple and shrine. Oh, the sheer wealth of beauty I can witness in a whole month. I can hear the treasures of our history calling to me. Yeah, if it's a month-long art tour, I'm totally gonna pass. A trip does sound nice, but what if we all went camping first? We can all go hiking and stuff during the day, and even throw together a barbecue at night. B -b barbecue Aren't those always the big gatherings for people who socialize IRL? <laughs> Sounds fun. You can leave the firewood chopping to me. Summer off right with a barbecue buffet. Sounds badass to me. <laughs> How about you? Look for decent marbling in the cuts. That's how you get the real good stuff. Trust me on this. It does sound rather fitting for the summer. I like the idea, but we'll need an awful lot of vegetables to balance it out. Huh. A barbecue is one of the few things in this world that can pull me away from art. 
Our history's treasures can wait a bit longer. Choosing food over art. You sure your priorities are solid there, Inari? All right. Our first reunion party has been unanimously decided. We're going camping. And with that settled... Emma, list recommended camping gear. I have compiled a list of items recommended for camping. There was a sporting and travel goods store near 705 in Shibuya. Customer reviews rate this as the best relevant store in your area. Ooh, what's that? The virtual assistant, Emma. You haven't heard of it yet? Oh, I think I have. It knows, like, basically everything and does all sorts of stuff for you, right? Oh, yeah! It's got this, uh, eye that thinks for it, right? I think you mean AI, not an eye. Right. It stands for Artificial Intelligence. It can search all kinds of databases, conduct navigation, manage your schedule, even talk out logic problems and stuff with you. The makers go on about how you can ask it anything and you'll get the best possible answer. I remember seeing a demo of one on TV the other day. They were showing off its functions and talking about how it's the next big thing. Yep, that's it, all right. Pretty solid tech, considering it's roughly a thousand times smarter than Ryuji. Shut up! That sounds kind of cool, though. <gasps> I bet it tell us where all the best ramen shops are. Yeah, you should all download it. I'm telling you, it's the bee's knees. I suppose it'd at least be handy if we ran into any trouble while camping. That's a good idea. Why don't you get it, too? Hello, this is Emma. I am pleased to meet you. Please provide me your name. Thank you. Again, I am Emma your helpful virtual assistant. Looks like you've got it figured out. I sent you all friend requests. Please don't blow them off. Displaying recommended camping items. So Emma came up with all that? Impressive, no? And it's not just random junk for sale, either. It takes into account the season, the weather, your personal profile, and even your location for all its recommendations. For real? Damn, that thing's eye is crazy. AI, not an eye. Well, should we split up and buy everything Emma's listed for us? Oh, can't we do it tomorrow? It's so hot out. I bet this guy's beat from the traveling too. We just went through all the effort to meet up at the hideout, yeah? So let's make the most of it. Indeed. I have an absolute plethora of discussion topics for us to mull over. Particularly matters such as modern art and the possibilities within it in our current age. Anything but that. Thank you for treating us all to curry, boss. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just think of it as sort of a welcome back gift. Plus, with this guy hanging around again, it'll be nice feeling like old times. Same here. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll be back soon. Well, see you tomorrow. You know, it was nice talking after so long. Okay, let's get to shopping first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get everything Emma listed up for us, right? Then we should meet up by the Buchiko statue in Shibuya. See you then. Don't go forgetting, okay? And don't go forgetting about helping out behind the counter either, okay? Hmm. I'll just add this. Bring back.
back memories. It's nice to see everyone doing so well. Chief seemed to be the same as ever, too. This place is just as great as I remembered. So, we're camping in a couple days, huh? Talk about a way to kick off your summer vacation. <laughs> Me too. Well, we should get some sleep. <sighs> Good night. to rejoice or bemoan this reunion. Regardless, I must perform my duty. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. The expression you bear now tells me you already know the reason for your summons. I must warn you of the danger threatening to consume both yourself and the entire world whose heart you strove so greatly to change. A most loathsome prison has manifested. Your appearance is ironclad evidence of this. You have become a prisoner of fate yet again. Someone, even now, plots to lure you into a disastrous fate. Confronted by this evil will, your own cries out. Rise against it. My name is Lavenza. As one who rules over power, my duty is to witness the path you take. Should the world continue down its own current path, all that awaits you is destruction. Have you the resolve to defy such a fate, and face the distortion that yet again threatens your world? That is the trickster I know so well. What awaits you ahead are more of the same, no, even greater hardships than before. However, you must never forget, I am always by your side. The time has come. Let us meet again soon. Until then, pleasant dreams.
ready to buy some camp and shit? Ah, let's hustle to the store so we can finally chill for a bit. It's already way too hot out. We're in charge of picking up the barbecue, right? Go ahead and lead the way, Ryuji. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, right, we can just ask the app. Hey, uh, Emma? Hello, do you need something? Yeah, uh, show us that store you told us about. Displaying the optimal route to your destination. Whoa, look at this sweet map. You can even figure out how to help with a vague question like that? Oh, this thing's a whole lot more useful than I thought. Great! Let's get this over with so we can plan tomorrow's feast. What's all the racket? I have a suggested event for you. A promotional store opening is currently underway at the Shibuya 705 storefront with Alice Aragi. Huh? That was a suggested event? Wait, for real? Alice is here? Alice Hiragi is a Japanese fashion model and performing artist. She has gained attention with her adorable look and unique sense of style. She is active in a variety of media and genres. She has become a pop culture tastemaker and continues to amass a devoted young fan base. Wow, Emma makes her sound huge. Is she really all that popular? Well, I don't know. What kind of answer is that crowd giving you, huh? Alice really is just over there. Oh, I can't believe it. Dude, you haven't changed at all, have you? It's on our way into the store, why not check it out? She's totally cute enough for this to be worth it! Hey, hey, what's going on? Heard it's some shop opening ceremony. Wait, isn't that... Alice! Alice Hiragi! What was with that crowd? Man, I can't believe I saw Alice. She was just as cute as I thought she'd be. Right? Oh, she just has this vibe. Well, she's all yours. My heart still belongs to Lady On alone. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Well, are you satisfied now? Let's hurry up with the shopping. Fine. Oh, yeah, you got one of those cards from Alice, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. 
You just got blown off. Damn it! There were just a ton of people around us all. Alice Hiragi's Wonderland? This looks like a boring old ad to me. Hmm? There's some fine print here. Here's my Emma keyword. Please become my friend. What's a keyword? Didn't Futaba use something like that yesterday? She said we could become friends through Emma. Yeah, do it! Come on! So, you input the keyword, then you become friends with Alice? You said it's on the card, right? What was it again? Uh, Wonderland? Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. No, feels like... Whoa! What happened to you guys? Not just me. You changed too. Whoa! For real? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Looks like this place is connected to the metaverse. This is a joke, right? Whoa, check it out. Look, aren't those the guys we saw at 705? Hey, everyone! You love me, don't you? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? Then you can give me all your desires. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell was that? There's no time. We'll figure it out later. Joker, Skull, let's fight our way out! Damn it! Ah, fine, let's do this! We'll take all of you on! Stay sharp, you two. We haven't fought in some time. Just warm up a bit for starters. It'll come back to you soon enough. <laughs> get him, get off you two! Take this! Stop it! Yeah! 
again. Hmm? Joker, go! Watch out! You're done the hell? Even more of them. We're getting surrounded fast. We have to retreat. Guys, over there! That looks like our best bet. Let's move it! Okay, what in the hell is this place? Oh, I think this could be Alice's palace. A palace? I thought those were done for, though. I mean, we don't even have the Meta Nav on our phones anymore. I don't know what's going on. But I don't think anything else could explain this. You saw Alice on that screen just like I did. No matter how you look at it, that was her shadow. We just happened to wander into Alice's palace using Emma. That would be the most logical explanation. Damn it! Whatever it is doesn't change the fact that we're in deep shit. Mm, we need more intel. Let's investigate the area. If this really is a palace, the distortion has to have a core somewhere. We need to find the treasure. Oh, I'm even getting a faint whiff of it. If we look around, we may be able to learn what's going on, too. We'll get a better idea of what to do next, depending on what we find. <sighs> Guess we're doing this. these thieves, but we couldn't seize their desires. We have instead brought them to you. <laughs> couldn't seize their desires? Explain yourselves. Hmm. You look pretty cool. So, what's your name? Joker, huh? Come now, Joker. You need to answer properly when your queen asks a question. Quit it, asshole! Ugh, would you shut your mouth? Or are you looking for punishment, too? What? Shit! Just try it! Ugh, what a bore. I just stopped caring. Get rid of them, however. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Bye bye Luckily. 
Man, that was some real shit. Even worse was that effing... So that's what she's really like, huh? <sighs> How about you, Joker? She really whacked you good. You said it. Damn that Alice. Acting like she's top shit. I'm gonna be so pissed off until we finally get back at her. So, where are we now? Looks like we wound up underground. I'd say it's some sort of garbage dump. For now, let's just focus on getting out of here. This place is disgusting. Who just dumps people into garbage like that? Let's find a way out as soon as possible. We don't know what we'll run into either. Let's keep an eye on how we're holding up as we press on. What is this place? Who are you? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you as well. Are you human? Do you have a name? Joker. Okay, I memorized it. Joker, do you know where this place is? Hey, I just heard something! Uh, I mean, who are you? What is it, Joker? Uh, uh can I help you? A raccoon? <gasps> try a cat! Wait, don't try a cat! Make up your mind. Anyway, who's this? I got a real funky getup. What? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Were you dumped down here by that Alice girl too? Hmm. I just learned that I have no memories, so I do not know. Wait, what? Hey, you two, come here for a second. Who is that Joker? She said she doesn't have any memories? Of a giant box? What kind of crazy shit is that? Way too weird. She doesn't seem to be a shadow, though. She doesn't even seem hostile. Well, whatever she is, we still gotta find a way out. Nobody's solving any problems in this dump, that's for sure. In trouble? Whoa! Where did you. If you're in trouble, I can help. I am humanity's companion. My purpose is to be helpful to humans. So, you want to help us out? Correct. What is your problem? Well, uh, we're lost. I guess we're looking for a way out of here? A way? Will reaching the surface solve your problem of a way out of here? Uh, yeah. It would? Okay, I've got it. 
I'm searching for a way out of here. Whoa, hey, don't go out there alone. What now, Joker? Right. She might be able to get us out of this dump. You sure about that? She's still super suspicious. But I guess we shouldn't ditch her either. Hey, hey, you better watch out for shadows. Oh, crap, too late. Get behind us, Sophia. Where the hell did they come from? Nobody's yeah. coming for us if we get here. Yeah. Get! Got through that somehow. Sophia, right? You heard her anything? No problems here. Why was I attacked? Assaulting others without reason is not proper behavior. Uh, not exactly sure how to explain it, but those guys are called shadows. And we are the Phantom Thieves. We're considered dangerous rebels by the ruler of this place. Intruders they want to eliminate. The Phantom Thieves. That's really cool. That's what you have to say? Compliment, I guess. Anyway, there is a shit ton of shadows around here. If you want to help us, then let's all go together. I can find a way out of here. You only need to wait for me. You're actually going to help us out? I have been helping you this entire time. Joker helped me first. Now I will be helpful for him. Use me as needed, Joker. <laughs> All right, you're weird, but I guess you really do want to help. It's your call, Joker. Okay, that sounds nice, Joker. Along with the cat and the skeleton. What? I'm not a skeleton. <laughs> Skull short for Skullington now. No, wait, just because I look like this doesn't make me a cat! Not you too, man! I'm Skull, don't screw it up! And I'm Mona, okay? Don't you forget it! What has upset you? Alright, let's be careful. We'd be fine, but we don't want to endanger Sophia. Try staying out of sight. Sophia with us. We should just avoid it if we can. Are you saying that's in your way? Yeah, we can't escape unless we get past here. Okay, I've got it. Huh? Got what? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, wait up! <laughs> We be 
eat them. Wait, wait, wait. You're so effing strong. You should have told us right away you could fight. But you never asked. Not just that, but your clothes. What in the world? It's completely different from our own transformations. I copied what you do and ended up like this. Yeah, this ain't just about the clothes. Uh, are you some kind of persona user? Persona? The things you were using during the fight. Those boxes flying around. That was a weapon. I needed it to fight. Sophia, just what in the world are you? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Yeah, we already heard that one. There's still just too much we don't know. But we don't have the time to figure it out now, either. Getting out of here needs to be our number one priority. Yeah, we really don't need her getting any more attention from the enemy. Hey, let's just have her help us out. Considering what we just saw, I don't think we'll have a problem. Agreed. We have no idea what's ahead of us. The more firepower, the better. Can you lend us a hand, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. Right. You'll be counting on me. Well, let's move. Lead the way, Shorty. Understood. Oh, right. Keep track of how you're holding up. You need any healing items? Oh, Joker, what did you find? Suspicious looking. Never know what you might find. What's inside, Joker? Skills alone, remember? Take this! Let's go! Wait! 
Shadows ahead. They haven't spotted us yet. Should I wipe them out for you? Here's a tip on us phantom thieves. We avoid charging headfirst into battle whenever possible. Let's try those stairs for now. Huh. I want to check that out. Hanging there, Joker? You thinking what I'm thinking? I can see it. No shadows at the moment. Let's keep going. I've got eyes on them! They just don't quit! Let's take him down, Joker!
Make sure you heal yourself when you need it. Hang on. It looks like this is the exit. Oh, hell yes. Let's get our asses out of here. Finally made it out. This is still the metaverse, though. Stay on guard. Please wait. What is it, Sophia? Find something? <sighs> I have found it. A way out of here is nearby. For real? Wait, how'd you figure that out? I suddenly knew it. Like... Seriously? The exit is close. Follow me. Hey, wait! Sophia! What is her deal? Oh, I don't know, but we need to move it! Is this the way out you mentioned, Sophia? Yes, this is what I had detected previously. Uh, and it is? It's fine. It leads outside. Leads outside? Everything will get all... <laughs> for a moment, but then you'll be out of here. What the hell kind of explanation is that? How do you know we'll be okay? Trust me, Joker. I'm glad you're willing to trust me. Mm. Looks like we've only got one option here. Huh? Ain't you coming too? I am... What should I do? Joker's got the right idea, Sophia. This place is crawling with shadows. Staying here would only end badly for you. But... Jeez, what's it gonna take? What? What are you doing? We don't leave folks behind to die. Just get in the damn portal with us. So you want me to come with you? Uh, okay. Well, here goes. One, two... This is the real world, right? Yep, looks like we're back all right. You have successfully returned from the jail. Welcome back. Jail? Hang on, Sophia, where'd she go? I don't think I'm seeing her. Hey, Shorty, get your ass over here! Yell that in public, idiot! Need something? Was that Sophia's voice? Huh, 
Where is she? I'm in front of you. Inside Joker's phone. What's with the floating head? Yo! Whoa, she just popped up! Oh, did you change your outfits? Is that really you, Sophia? Yep, I'm really me. But who are you? I'm still Mona. I just look like a cat in this world. Mona? You're Mona? So, you really weren't a raccoon. I already told you that. Wait, why are you on his phone now? Why am I... Because I am an AI. An AI? AI... Uh, uh, that's that smart thing, right? Futaba told us all about it. She's an artificial intelligence. For real? You never asked me. I was thrown into endless light. When I tracked down Joker's scent, I ended up here. A scent? Who are you, Morgana? So since she's an AI, she turned into data when she came to this world. Does that mean you're living in his phone? It is somewhat small, but it's cozy and has everything I need. Care to join me? <laughs> I, I, I don't even have the energy. Anyway, it's a big relief knowing you made it out of there safely. Hey, but what, what about all those other people we saw in there? Are they still... you know... I don't know. But I seriously doubt normal folks would be able to fight against that. Me too, but if we charge in without a plan, we're just going to wind up captured too. A new part of the metaverse has its own version of a palace that we access through Emma. It even has a ruler shadow. Odds are that something horrible is happening right now. You're right. Talking about this here is no good. Let's get to LeBlanc. We'll hammer out our course of action with everyone there. And what about her? It appears I cannot exit this phone. When I came to this world, I connected to the internet and learned a great many things. But my memory is still erased. I also found no means of data recovery. Furthermore, I am stuck here. What should I do next? That sounds good. Also, introducing Sophia to everyone else will probably make the explanation easier. I uh, wonder how that's gonna go over. Especially when they hear all the palace type shit. There are more phantom thieves? Yeah, we got ourselves a whole gang. One of them will probably flip her wig over you, too. Okay. That sounds pretty fun. I see. You're saying you entered the Metaverse with Alice Hiragi's invitation and met a sentient AI named Sophia, who is now in your phone. When you put it that way, you make it sound crazy. But I'm telling you, it's the truth. See? Even he says so. We understand. None of us would make up something like this. However, there's a chance this Sophia may know more than we do about this situation. She's still with you, right? Could we speak with her? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything Sophia can add that could help us figure out what's happening. Could you come join us, Sophia? Yo, Phantom Thieves! <sighs> Whoa, what is that? I am Sophia. Humanity's companion. That's really Sophia? Wow, I can't believe this is happening. Is this some sort of hideout? There seem to be a number of phantom thieves present. <laughs> She's humming to herself? What in heaven? Such an adorable design. You can feel the charm, the pain, the tenacity within. Wait, what? 
So, yeah, this is Sophia. Nice meeting you. Okay, an AI with genuine will is just way too advanced. Right? We couldn't believe it either. Uh, that's right, we're meeting for the first time. Nice to meet you, Sophia. I'm Makoto Nijima. My name's Haru Okumura. We're both college students, but I also help out with my family's company. I'm An Takamaki. I'm a third year in high school, and I do some modeling, too. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I continuously strive to master the arts as we know them. <laughs> so, uh, I'm next, huh? I'm Futaba Sakura, and I kind of suck at socializing, but I want to be friends and stuff. Ah, you did great, Futaba. In fact, I bet you and Sophia will get along real awesome. Makoto, Haru, An, Yusuke, and Utaba. I'll remember that. You all have much more normal names than Joker. Ooh, right. We skipped that part. Uh, so, we're the Phantom Thieves, but... We call each other by code names in the metaverse, so our enemies won't discover our real identities. Code names. My name's actually Ryuji Sakamoto. The cat's Morgana, and he's... Okay, I'll remember that. Um, so you really are a computer program? Correct. Would you like to see my source code? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Show me, show me. Take it down a notch, okay? You can see it after we get through these questions. First off, why were you in the metaverse? I do not know, because my memory is gone. Could you have the AI version of amnesia or something? That seems difficult to recover from. Uh, if your data just crashed, I could take a look and try restoring it. It is impossible. I have already tried every potential solution. <laughs> yeah, based on your specs, I guess it's not surprising you already thought of that. Can you recall anything at all? Only the command I received at initialization. You don't sound too sure of that. Be humanity's companion. That was the command I was issued. I remember nothing else. Yeah, don't let it bother you too much, Sophia. I was in the exact same situation when I first met these guys. Thank you. I've still got a shit ton of questions about Sophia, but we have some real work to do first. Right. The metaverse. And what we saw. From what you saw, that means Alice Hiragi has a palace in Shibuya, right? Yeah, she was calling herself the Queen, being all high and mighty, ordering shadows around, all that kind of shit. There's no doubt that was the cognitive world, but something about it was awfully different from the palaces. What is it? Real humans were being attacked by shadows. There were people inside the palace? You mean, they had access to the Metaverse Navigator? But that disappeared for all of us. I know, right? That's where this comes in. You mean... Emma? Yep. For some reason, this thing worked just like the MetaNav did. We accidentally entered Alice's Emma keyword and got sent to the Metaverse. Wait! That means Emma is dangerous! that you can just uninstall it. The MetaNav didn't work like that. There's one more thing that's been bothering me. When we got back to this world, Emma said we returned from the jail. Jail? The only thing we figured out is that this new place is called a jail. So, could you guys check out the palace, or jail, or whatever with us? Good point. There's no progressing any further unless we see it with our own eyes. I'm also having a hard time buying Alice as the ruler of a palace. Are we going to scout it out together? I think the sooner the better. Is it even safe for us to enter, though? What if we all just end up captured? There were no enemies in the vicinity of the exit. It's fine to enter through there. Well, are we going to head back to that place tomorrow? Right, we've got our mission. Very well. Look forward to seeing this jail. Let's say we meet at the connecting bridge in Shibuya. But first... I get to see Sophia's code! You promised, remember? Oh, this is gonna be the info dump of a lifetime! I promise, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Are you 
you confident this is wise? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, at least we know she's got computer skills. Ah, man. This is what happens when we get back together? Oh, talk about an ass-busting summer vacation. Huh? huh? What is it? What about our life-changing Kyoto excursion? Our barbecue extravaganza? Extravaganza? You mean our camping trip? It looks like we'll just have to postpone it. Damned metaverse. I vow to slice you to ribbons. Aha. You can't slice the metaverse, dude. Just save it for the shadows. Over here. Damn. So that's it. So what do you think, Futaba? How's Sophia's code look? Well, her programmer is a genius. No doubt about that. You can figure a person out by their code, and not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Oh, that's a serious program. I don't understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma Old Hat. Old Hat? When something was popular at one point but stops being popular, it becomes Old Hat. It's a saying people don't really use it. Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? While we're at it, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? Ah, <sighs> nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. Make like a tree. She made like a tree? Boy, was that a hell of a day. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. You're a real standout. That just might mean you're going to see some trouble again soon. Alice, Emma, this new metaverse, a mountain of mysteries sure is piling up fast. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery, says the talking cat. Eh, uh, good point. Take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? That is... inarguably true. Ah, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... Uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? Uh, right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people and be a good companion to them, I guess. The human heart. Look, just, just don't worry about it. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, 
You lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal. Okay. That is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep. So long as it's good with our leader. Thank you, leader, boss, captain. Then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Morgana. to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? We've done this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being faced by this. <laughs> yeah, bro! Bring it! We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Um, no. We just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Now let's do this thing! Did we make it? Oh, your phantom thief attire. Yeah, you do. Oh, I've forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. Look, it's Beauty Thief! My name is Beauty Thief! Let's not fool around here. I admit, though. These clothes do bring back some memories. We can reminisce later. Take a look at that view. So, this is the jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers. Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? How was up with that? That may have been a desire. Yo, Phantom Thieves! Ah! Sophia! Holy crap, an actual AI in human form! Wow, you're so cute, Sophia! Such a fascinating form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. I've never seen an outfit like that! Can I try floofing it? Floofing? I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. Aww, no floofing. By the by, how does H work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and 
We must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jam. But these desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things. What use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped can tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? Well, couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Shadows. What are shadows? A shadow's the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are all right? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? And how are we to act? This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No, that was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any real moves or we'll just be doing damage. Got it! Uh, but... What are we gonna do? Crashing some random store opening probably only works once. Let's say we get into that once we're out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, we've confirmed the presence of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills, looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. Huh. I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh... Uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. What? For real? How? Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah! Way to go, Lady On! But I'm not making any promises about it, and there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. Well, that settles that. We're counting on you. Give Alice shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. Ooh, you really are ready for this. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. 
For today, let's focus on her potential victims. Let's go. Really?
What are you gonna do? It's true. So, how'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah. Like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice-related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but... This seems so much worse than that. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the Metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help! It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? Yep. Let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on it. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. Boss, this curry is fantastic. Oh, thanks. So, this is going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in, too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No prob. Oh, here she comes. Miss Alice on the set! is adorable. Riding back from commercial. Back in five, four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. 
What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. Haha, <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating... rumors? Uh... uh... <sighs> what? Uh, uh. Uh, oh. What's going on? I don't get it. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. Uh, are you okay? Alice, I... I love you, Alice. Please, spend your life with me. What? <laughs> Uh, hey, w what is all this, huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. All right, stop it. <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it. I can't live without you. What? What in the hell? And what about me, asshole? Is this real? Those two were engaged already, right? Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Cut the commercial! Now! I am begging you, Alice, please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? was actually live on TV, right? Ooh, can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then do you think that host had his desire taken by Alice? Like, what kind of professional host would do that on live TV? True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like he wasn't even there, and someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. I would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. But that would mean... Yeah, looks like it. <sighs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and... I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now... I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. <laughs> Man, that was great! That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. 
All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. <laughs> what is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why, but after seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh! So you want me to punish you again? Ah! Please! I'm sorry! Oh! Oops! <laughs> what a terrible accident! Just like what happened on set, a terrible accident. I'm still upset over it too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you'd like. Come on, beg. Do it! Do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... Hey, stop! Uh, and who is this? It was way too far! You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people! How the hell does that help? Uh. Oh! <laughs> we were just playing around! Weren't we? Yeah. So you'll go get the car now? Oh! Hey! Wait! Hang on! Uh, are you on Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Don't bother. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Aww. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Aw, two in a row. Hey, hang on. You were at 705 the other day, weren't you? We're done here. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> that's a bummer. I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? And then I stormed out and we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady On. Once Lady On had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Ain't it the same as with Kamoshira? That's a good point. Ugh, she seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... 
What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Why? Because she's hurting people. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No, beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Why not do so? I do not understand. I want to understand, but I cannot. Where is the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves Code. That's right. Kinda pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it. I will join the Phantom Thieves. I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart and about the Phantom Thieves. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's flowing. That's basically her name. I like it. You do? I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the metaverse. Radical, dude. <laughs> Jeez, you're already more human-like than when we first met you. I am constantly learning things, thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. Don't pick up any off-putting lingo, okay? Okay, so we got a new member. Now we need to come up with our first mission. Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became Phantom Thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. You may not know the victims personally, but it would reflect on us poorly as Phantom Thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a Phantom Thief. All right, the Phantom Thieves are back in action. Our next step is to make the proper preparations. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Since you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shop into you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Just hit us up. Hey.
Merci. Welcome to the Velvet Room. The gears of fate turn yet again, bringing you close to calamity once more. While your hope may be the smallest of seeds now, and its true power unknown, by nurturing the possibilities within you, this seed shall sprout and become your strength against calamity. Now, I shall act in my master's stead, and watch over you through your journey. Yes, I share the sentiment. As you already know, your power of the wild card allows you to wield multiple personas. By offering up your personas for execution, you are able to fuse them into new, more powerful ones. This is once more the key to overcoming the evil will spreading distortion. Due to my master's absence, I will perform the executions with my own personal fusion equipment. Unfortunately, this means you will be unable to harness the power of personas you once harbored within you. However, this journey is sure to draw out your true potential should you make the most of your meetings. <laughs> Soon it will all be clear, Trickster. You have once again become a prisoner of fate. Unleash the chains that bind you, and take back the people's hearts, their desires. Doing so will surely lead you to the hope that will drive off the impending ruin. As long as your will is undeterred, I too will hold nothing back in supporting you. With that address, let us turn at once to Persona Fusion. Fuse two Personas to gain a new one. Please select the Persona to acquire. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit. Is this the persona you'd like? Be born anew! You've tapped into a new power. Are you unable to decide? Are you unable... You wish to strengthen it?
How much power will you add? This is what you've chosen. Okay. You wish to browse the entries? What will you be registering? Will you register this persona? This persona has been registered in its present condition. Please take a look. Whenever you feel the need for more, come visit me at any time. I will... Soft shops closed, Takemi clinics shut down for summer vacation. Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. This is not good. We can't just return to the metaverse defenseless. I guess we gotta find some other stores. And that seems like it'll take quite some time. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh yeah! Check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. Do you know if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We could do that, but the delay between ordering and actually getting the stuff is way too long. Also, we were able to get much more effective medicines from our clinic than we could find online. No prop. The net has it all. Ryuji, is there something you want? Huh? What do I want? Right. Request anything you want. Uh, okay. A gold bar. <sighs> really? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, come on, it was just a joke. Nothing else popped into my head when she asked, so... Okay, I've got it. Please wait. Hmm? Got what? Hello? Expedited delivery! Well, uh, did you really order a gold bar? Uh... Whoa! Well, someone should open it. Eugene, this is your doing! Open it! What? Me? Shit, this is probably just gonna be fake or some toy. I found an 
online vendor with expedited delivery. Time is no longer a concern. But a whole gold bar? Where'd you find that? The dark web? Correct, Futaba. It's fine. I broke no laws. The transaction was made with cryptocurrency. I will send you an invoice for reimbursement. We have to reimburse you? So, uh, how much did this cost again? At least a few million. Send it back? Sorry, I didn't get that. Send the other thing back! Hello, thanks for that pickup. Thank you for choosing our services. I'm relieved they took it back, but that definitely gave us some gray hairs. Jeez, thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. Oh, come on, who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? I've heard of one's mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely new level. Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. Shall I do that? Okay, I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. Well, that was a ride, but I guess it turned out okay for us? Yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. We don't know what we'll be up against in the jail, though. Let's prepare as well as we can. What are you looking for today? Who is it for? Put it to good use, okay? You want this one? Thanks for your patron. How many would you like? You want? Thank you very much. How many would you like? You put it to good use. Okay? You put it to good use, okay? I'll just add this. 